Well, welcome back, folks. Uh, today, I'm going to position this as a shop talk, even though I'm going to use this uh, Honda SL125 left engine case for illustrative purposes. Um, I have a little situation with this Honda case, and that is I've got it completely dis disassembled down to the very last bearing, which is right here. And that's a blind bearing. In other words, it doesn't can't get at it from the back side which is right here and uh, you would normally use probably attempt to use a blind bearing puller which you can buy commercially made item there's a couple different versions but they drop down into that center hole and they spread out and then you pull them out usually with a slide hammer or something similar and there's other means to also try to get a blind bearing out uh, I don't have a blind bearing puller simply or puller set. They usually come in sets simply because I don't pull very many uh, blind bearings. The last one I think I worked on was on was it the front wheel of the Yamaha Wild one here probably a year and a half ago. And then I used a concrete insert, an expanding insert that you sit in a concrete and you spin a, a bolt down, it expands, and then you um, can use that to pull out bearings as well. I'm going to take a different approach on this bearing and it does seem to be in very tight. I did try to heat the case and tap on the back side with a mallet see if it drop out and it didn't. I think it's stuck in there pretty good. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use my puller and this is the puller if you recall that I made this little Dent puller adapter here, what, about a year or so ago, I think it was? Summer of 19, if you recall, I, I uh, fabricated this little piece of hex steel and threaded it and then used the slide hammer to get some of the dents out of the Yamaha Wild One gas tank. Well, I'm going to use the same slide hammer without the vice grips. And uh, what I'm did is I just fabricated this little um, plug. I didn't put a lot of time into trying to finish it. I cut this this plug off of this piece of steel. Pretty rough. It's rusty. So I just cut off about a three inch piece and the inside dimension of this bearing specification is 15 millimeters. So I turned this down to just under 15, 4 point, about 4.9 millimeters, so that that would just drop in like that. You can see. And then I threaded the other end for uh, the slide hammer handle to fit over like that. The intent here is what I'm going to do next, and you might notice I put a little groove or relief on the edge of that right there. I'm going to weld this in place. I'm going to weld this plug to that center race of the bearing because the bearing's a loss anyway. I don't need the bearing. I'm going to replace it with a new. So I'm going to go all the way around and weld that in place so that this plug becomes part of the bearing. Then I'm going to thread the slide hammer into that threaded hole right there that's already tapped heat this case around it and use a slide hammer and try to pop this bearing out. I'm probably going to have to get my wife to hold down the case like this when I use the slide hammer because otherwise it's going to want to pop up on me and I really don't have any way to secure it. So I'll probably put this on the floor and my wife just put her weight on it and then I will uh, use a slide hammer to see if we can't get that bearing out. I'm not going to show all of that for one thing, my wife doesn't want to be on camera, so she's going to resist being um, recorded. And it's pretty straightforward. Again, I'm just going to weld this with my MIG welder all the way around, or at least as much as I can reach. I try to get a good quality weld. Take my time. I don't want to overheat this aluminum case or this alloy case. And then uh, we'll see if we can't pop that bearing out. Yeah, and I'll bring you back on the other end of this uh, little adventure and I'll show you uh, the case after the bearing's been removed. Well, it's about uh, 45 minutes later or so and I have the bearing out, as you can see right there. In fact, it's still hot <clears throat> from heating 
the uh, engine case with a hot air gun. Still quite hot. That's a shielded bearing on the back side, right there. It's got a shield on it, a metal shield. Unshielded on the front side. And you can see where I welded it. It's very hard to get at. You know, it was down in there, and by the time I put the ground clamp for the, the welder on, um, I didn't have a lot of visibility in my reach, so it's not the prettiest weld. But it did work. Took about uh, two, maybe three pops, and it popped right out. I did not need the assistance of my wife. What I did is I just put it on uh, one of my floor mats on the ground. I heated it first really good, quickly transferred it to the floor on one of my floor mats, leaned on it with my knees, put my weight on it, and then just used a slide hammer two or three times, and it popped right out, like you can see there. So I think we've got this uh, engine case completely disassembled. The other half, the right side, is already done. Now I've got to finish cleaning it up. And I'll run it through the sodium bicarbonate blaster. Take it outside probably in the next day or two and clean it all up. And finish uh, rounding up the various pieces and parts that I'm going to need to begin the reassembly. So that's going to be it for this video, folks. This little shop talk, I wanted to share with you the solution I came up with to get that blind bearing out. Again, obviously this is sacrificial, so this will get thrown away. And I don't think I mentioned it before, but I turned that on my lathe real quick. That scale, that rust on there was really hard to get through, but I didn't put a lot of effort into making it pretty. I did need to put a vice grips on here and turn it uh, once I started to weld it in place. I had to turn it because that bearing was locked up and I wanted to turn it so I could weld as best I could uh, 360 degrees or all the way around. That's why you see the teeth marks from the vice grips, but bottom line is it worked. Any issues, questions, thoughts, drop me a note. Otherwise, as usual, thanks for watching.